Are we going to get a crypto Santa rally? That's the question, right? We're all looking at that. We've all been watching our phones. We've been looking at our accounts. We've been asking ourselves, when is this going to go up? Are we going to get a nice little bull run here to end the market? That's what we're going to talk about that in this video. As always, truly, thank you for your support of myself, my channel, my videos. I greatly appreciate you. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. If you do celebrate it, if you don't celebrate it, then hopefully you're able to spend some time with friends, family, and those that you love. Because ultimately, in my opinion, that's what it's all about. It's all about the people in our lives that we care about, that we love, and letting them know that, that we do care. And Raider, there he is. There's Raider um, telling us as well. That's his opinion. All right. So uh, definitely tell those in your family, that in your family and in your life that you care about them. All right. Raider, he's obviously got an opinion about that. Somebody's walking by the front of the house. That's why he's barking. Okay. So are we going to get a Santa rally? That is the question, right? Okay. So let's take a look at this. So the crypto community expresses market sentiments, no Santa rally. Because here's where we're at. We have been here with the same old story for a while. Notice the pause for dramatic effect. We just can't seem to get out of this quicksand that is this 800 to $820 billion uh, you know, market. And I think it's a culmination and a lot of different things, okay? And we're going to get into those things here in just a minute. But I would also tell you that it's not just crypto. No Santa Claus rally in sight. What to know this week? Now, the stock market... Uh, you know, it, 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 it's been impacted well as well. Right. And so no Santa Claus rally in sight. What to know this week? I mean, there, I think that by the way, the data coming in like retail sales grow during holidays, MasterCard data. So we'll see how the market reacts, but at the end of the day, you know, I think that for crypto, it's really been a culmination of a couple of things. Inflation, the Federal Reserve and their efforts to battle inflation, i.e. seven interest rate hikes coming from the Federal Reserve, FTX, SB, SBF, and his and what happened there completely shaking the, the core belief that people have in crypto and in centralized exchanges and the fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And that's really, really the main narrative here is is the fear, uncertainty, and doubt in 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 and around crypto has just it is pervasive. Okay, and I think that that's what P is keeping people away. Drop in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that it is ultimately fear, uncertainty, and doubt? Oh, by the way, that little thing called that Russia Ukraine war. Again, I'm not minimizing that. There's been a, a an unimaginable loss of life, and also also the impact on our global financial markets and uh, you know commodities and all those kind of things. Horrific, right? All of this adds up to a no Santa rally kind of thing. Okay. And, uh, you know, the Bitcoin volatility index is, is, is low. So we are going to be here, I think for a little bit and no, I don't think there's going to be any big Santa rally that we were kind of expecting. I think Bitcoin and Ethereum will continue to do things. You can just see there is not a lot going on. In fact, you know, look, volume is up a little bit. That's actually surprising. I didn't expect to see that up 9% see what the volume is on Ethereum. Uh, you know, yeah, there you go. Ethereum's up 10%. Okay. You know, it doesn't take a lot when you're coming back from basically nothing, <laughs> you know, and I'll show you like in the, in the, the, the 24 hour gainer is Terra Luna classic. That's the number one gainer. And then Lido Dow Litecoin, uh, Litecoin is moving because of, uh, you know, some, some talking heads out there in the media of trying to put it down. And I think that's the kind of the community stepping back and fighting back, which I love. Right. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's any type of a, um, of, of a Santa Claus rally, uh, Santa rally coming. Uh, I wish that there was, but, uh, but I think it ultimately goes back to that fear, uncertainty and doubt scenario. If you're interested, links in the description below, check out my private members group. I got a lot of new stuff coming, uh, starting in January for my private members only, uh, content around like how to help you, you know, survive this crypto winter, the bull, the bear market that I think we're going to be in for quite a while, at least for the next quarter to maybe four or five months of 2023. Um, yeah, I think we're looking at some things and that's just not my opinion, by the way, there's some people that I really know, trust and respect that are saying kind of very similar things. So that's what I got for you. It's not great news, but it is what it is, but there is a silver lining and the silver lining is pick your moments and pick and, and identify you know, assets and coins and tokens that maybe you want to get into at it when they reach a certain price and lock in those low cost structures. Okay. Again, not investing advice. Do what's right for you. I'll see you. Have a good one. Take care.